Hello everyone, my name is Elon and welcome back to episode 118 of season 2 of WWE Supercard. So, since the last episode, what has happened? King of the Ring has happened and we are 1 minute, 13 seconds away from me getting the Survivor card because I got to the finals and this is how it went down. So, there was only 4 humans in this, myself being included in one. There was Mighty, or however you pronounce it, myself, Denzel, and Safe. Again, interesting pronunciations in this one. And I was the only one who lost to a bot in the quarterfinals. Great times. Um, so yeah, I did refresh for the first game. This guy was bot. I was like, no problem. I didn't even refresh everything. I didn't refresh everything because I didn't want to uh, waste a lot of energies. You know, so... Out of everyone here, I didn't refresh this tag team and I didn't refresh the Divas because I thought, he needs three points to win. I can win everything else. If he beats them too, he'll still be on two points. Doesn't matter. So, um, yeah, I did that. And um, as you can see, uh, that tag team got picked and the Diva tag team got picked. So I won 3-2. We go on to the next round. What happened? Well, Diva tag team got picked. and Well, I didn't refresh for this game either. Let's put that away. Um, and then we go down here. His Diva Solo beat my Diva Solo. And then the tag team got picked. So he won 3-2 there. So I was like, oh, I'm going to have to refresh for this one. I still didn't refresh the Diva tag team. But I did refresh everything else. Came back. Got the sweep. And there's the win. See that tag team? And the Diva tag team got picked again. It's like, come on now. But yeah, I did get through. And then got the semis against that guy whose name I won't pronounce. And first game, beat him with the rock there, charisma match, got the win. He had Paige as a solo. I did not know this until this match. I put uh, Naomi in the singles match because I thought he had two Survivor Pro Divas. So I thought, I'm going to get the win on the tag team, which uh, didn't pay off there. But we go down here, my tag team better than his because he didn't have a compatible one. Reigns beat Reigns, and then Undertaker beat my Undertaker, but I won 3-2. Going to match to his tag team beat mine, even though they weren't compatible, because of the power with Brock's boost and Swagger being good, Jericho and Bret Hart just weren't enough, I guess. Then I put Naomi back in at the solo, she got the win. Um, the Rock won the Toughness Charisma against Chris Jericho, which is surprising to me, but okay. Uh, my Undertaker has better toughness than his, and then my Reigns got the boost against his Reigns, and I won 3 2 again. And then in the finals, I gave up, I didn't try, so um, Denzel got the win. So, King Thing has finished. I get another Survivor card. Looking for a pro, and I've got quite a lot of singles now, so let's just see. Please, is it going to be a pro? Let's see. Oh! No, it's... Oh, wait, yes it is! Wait, it's it's Goldus a pro! It's Goldus a pro! I don't even know. I can't even remember. I think he is. I think he is. I'm pretty sure Goldus is a pro. Let's check this right now. Is Goldus a pro? I'm pretty sure he is. Let's see. Come on, game. Survivor, let's see, have I got gold dust in here? Have I got gold dust looking? I'm pretty sure I do. Pretty sure I do. Yes, I do! Gold dust Survivor Pro, there we go, okay. Gold dust is one of the worst Survivor cards, but it's another pro, I'll take it. That's great. Yes, another Survivor Pro. And he's one of very few cards that is Toughness Charisma. There's only a very, very few amount that are Toughness Charisma. Gold dust being one of them. And this is going to be a great card. I'm going to make him all toughness. All toughness. Don't really care too much about the charisma. His toughness is going through the roof. His power and speed is going to be terrible. I am pretty much going to make him a one stat card, I think. Um, See, so yeah, gold dust. There we go. Let's just max him out instantly. Um, so I've got a few a few cards here just lurking around. Actually, let's stay in enhancements for a second. Have we got any commons or rares? No, I don't. Okay. Rares, uh, that's three there. Let's just get rid of all these other random cards for now. And go into uncommons, there we go. And back to rares again and get rid of all the rest. So get rid of this big show that's half done. Should just get rid of all of them. I'll get rid of that many. I'll leave the rock. There we go. He's maxed out. There's his final stats. And let's put in his legendary pitcher, which is the best pitcher of Goldust. There we go. There he is, Survivor Goldust. I wasn't expecting that, but this video is going to be split into two parts. This is already probably about five minutes long, but Team uh, Road of Glory is here. There it is there. 
and it is starting in three hours 20 minutes so I will be back then for the start of Team Road to Glory but the cards are Colin Big E, Uncommon Kofi Kingston, Rare Page, Super Rare Ric Flair, Ultra Rare Nikki, Epic Dean, Legendary Roman Reigns and Survivor Charlotte so I'll be back in well a few seconds I guess in video wise with the start of this Team Road to Glory event so I will see you now so we are back and um, yeah during that time I have trained up uh, Goldust a bit he isn't fully trained he's there he is nearly done it won't take too long but it is 8 p.m. right now it is just turned 8 p.m. which means it is time for the event it started 47 8 seconds ago let's do this my team is ready I don't think well none of them would have got a match in 48 seconds but anyway I am not going to do what I did last time and buy 156 title matches because that was an overkill. You really only need about 30-ish. So I'm going to buy 12 at a time and every time I finish them up, I'll buy some more. So, first match we're going to take on Team of Roman. And it should, <laughs> should be an easy match. I'm a Team of Roman, I'm actually hoping to see a full team of just Roman Reigns right now. <clears throat> but that probably isn't going to be the case, but I hope it is. Um, but yes, here we go. Can we get a win? This is this is it. So, starting things off with uh, not the best cards. Power, speed, and toughness. Charisma deck. Are these both my enhancements right now? <laughs> are these are these just my enhancements? I've got both of them. But anyway, actually, I don't even need to use enhancements. I'm not even gonna bother using enhancements. I don't. You don't need them until like the end. Well, if you've got a same a similar team to mine, then you won't need them until like the very end um, of the legendary card. But. Andre the Giant is not Roman Reigns, so this team of Romans is false advertisement. I wasn't expecting to see an epic Roman Reigns straight off the bat. I'm not gonna lie, like that shouldn't be there. That should not be there at all, that epic Roman Reigns, but it is, which is strange to see, but okay. And literally, it doesn't matter which cards I use here, I'm gonna win each and every time until the end of the legendary. Um, legendary. Who was it? Roman Reigns card? So I'm just going to speed through all this. I'll play a few matches and then end the episode here because obviously I recorded part one earlier on today, three and a half hours ago. And that's a solid like six or seven minutes long. So I'm not going to make this too long, but it could be potentially. I don't know yet, obviously, since I'm only recording it now. Um, but yeah, but yeah. I'm not going to talk about the Royal Rumble in this video, even though it was last night, and that's because I do have another video that should be live before this one of my review of the Royal Rumble, so go check that out if you want to see my thoughts. I have quite a lot of things to say about the Royal Rumble match, and um, quite a lot of things I'm happy about, not happy about, and just downright a bit, mm, why about? So yeah, go check out that video if you want to find out what I'm talking about but anyway the rock and rock rock and rock connection um, with Bailey and rock as backup dancers are gonna take out their entire team here and my team is doing a, a strategy that we used for the last PCC which worked very well um, even though we didn't get top 50 which is to use all the left arrow event cards that we have it's all of them because that is a great strategy. I've hit the card limit straight away. This is horrible time and hit the card limit. One card, literally one card, okay. That's, uh, these networks are gonna be bad as well to try and uh, fix things out. I wanted to get through this quick, I didn't even think about my card limit. Uh, okay, let's get rid of all these. Uh, this is gonna have to be quick to get rid of all these. I really don't need to get rid of the enhancements right now, but I'm gonna. Just because I always do it, um, so there we go. I'm, I'm, all, I'm, I know exactly where I need to click for everything here. Um, just because I'm so used to clearing out my card limits, because I hit it like three or four times a day at least when I play. But um, there we go. All the commons gone. That's not gonna max out. Uh, rares. Have we got? I do have a few. One, two, three. Two is that? Uh, please don't hit the card limit. Ah, that was very close. I didn't know how close it was to 15. I should have used the uncommons there, but whatever. Throw in King Barrett, get rid of all the uncommons, and then go back to the team PCC. Come on, we're in our network. Come on, I don't want to spend time here on just getting rid of my cards because 
I just want to play the team Roddy Glory. Okay, there we go. There we go. I'm getting rid of the stuff now. Let's get rid of these. I'm probably gonna have two and a bit pages, I think. Maybe only two pages. Uh, I have to go in a third. Two and a bit. Two and a bit. I was right. Okay, that's that gone. And oh, I just moved the screen. I didn't mean to do that. Can I just push this back up? I think that's about right. That might be slightly off. Um, let's throw Roman back in now. Uh, there we go. So that goes. Oh. That goes back up to Survivor Plus Plus for the pick selection in the Team Road of Glory. Go back in here. How many points are we on? Still 25. Is that right? Looks like it. Sean, Ratul and Henry also playing. Uh, Ratul and Sean both new along with Rickster and everyone else is uh, chilling. Not doing much it seems but that's okay. We will get the end. Um, We'll probably get the end before tomorrow's video um, because last time, the last Road of Glory, we finished it whilst I was at work. We still had like nine hours left to complete it, so hopefully we can do the same thing again. It's not going to get any harder, I guess. Um, if anything, it's just going to get easier because we're all going to have better decks overall, so hopefully that happens. Um, hopefully we can get Charlotte very, very quickly. I don't need Charlotte. It would make a pro, but it'll be nice to have Charlotte anyway in case I get another one. King of the Ring reward getting Goldust was cool because I got a pro, but imagine if I got Charlotte there. Could I have another Survivor Pro Diva, but of course. I got Goldust, which is a Survivor Pro. I don't need him for King of the Ring, but yeah, I guess he's only really helpful for, uh, for Road of Glory. But I can do Road of Glory without him anyway. I might try that method where you um, only half train up um, two survivor cards. So, like, uh, I can't really explain it unless I do it, so I might do that with Goldust. But I've only got one right now. I don't have a second survivor pro that I could only half train up. So I don't know. But I might do that. That could work well for PCC strategy, get more points easier. Since I don't need him for Road of Glory and I don't need him for King of the Ring, so he's just kind of going to be chilling. And he isn't exactly a good survivor card, so, you know, I might just do that. I might use him for PCCs along with someone else if I get another survivor pro that isn't very good. Because I don't need any. Uh, well, I, I do need them for uh, Road of Glory, but I can do Road of Glory without, without them if that makes sense. So I don't need to max them out right now. So I think I will leave him for PCC. Uh, but this rock has an uncommon toughness and a legendary speed. That makes no sense. Why? Um, let's throw this rock in. Rock in a hard place. Uh, my contributions for my deck is The Undertaker and Chris Jericho. Both of which we did not see in the last match. Actually, I can't even remember seeing any Chris Jarrigos over the course of two matches now, which is strange because there's like five Chris Jarrigos in our team right now, I think. That wasn't a title match? Why wasn't that a title match? Plus, weren't we already on 25? Something's went wrong here. Zero picks remaining. Yeah, that, okay. Let's just check my points after this one because this is wrong. Um, I was, my team was definitely already on 25 and I'm pretty sure that was a title match I played. So, something went wrong there. Let's just check this out in a second. Title match, got that back, great. Thanks for that. Uh, so let's see here. Team's on 25 still. I'm on 10, that's just wrong. Let's go back out of the main menu, I need to check this properly. And something's obviously went wrong there. Um, hmm, strange. It probably would have fixed itself if it just went into another match, but it takes two seconds to go to the main menu, then back in. 100, that is more like it. Okay, 20, 20, 15, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10. 5, 5, and 0. So Iron Snow always gets in late in events. Um, he's usually at work when they start, but he always, always brings it back. So I'm not worried about him not playing right at the very start. But it seems like 9 of the 10 people on the team are playing right now, which is pretty good. It's pretty good going for the start. We are speeding through. Um, this this uh, big E card and considering we are only like 50, was it 50 points away from getting them we could have them as soon as I finish this match here um, maybe potentially so we shall see 
but uh, I think on uh, the last time we there was a Road of Glory, it took 15 minutes to get through the uncommon card, and it looks like we could do this one in maybe 11, potentially, I don't know, maybe even quicker, uh, potentially, I don't know. But if, if I didn't have to clear out the card limits, I probably would have got through another match by now. So that's my excuse. Even though I am joint top of the team right now on points, that's my Undertaker, I think. Pretty sure. Super rare. Enhancement on the Charisma. I'm pretty sure that's my Undertaker. So there we go. Yes, my Undertaker got an appearance. That could be my Chris Jericho. No, it's not. That Charisma is far too be my Jericho. Um, oh, that's a weird Jericho card. That was like a... What is that? I don't even know what I said. Was that like a toughness speed Jericho? Or was it just a speed Jericho? I don't even know. It was just strange to look at. Ugh. Interesting choice of Jericho's stats. But okay, I guess. Hmm. Interesting. But uh, yeah, like I said, we're going to speed through this entire thing. Uh, any of these my Jerichos? That one is. That's my Jericho right there. That's his stats. That's definitely mine. Yeah, there we go. Okay, he gets the win, of course, over Luke Harper. Jericho lasts in a full 50-something minutes, 52 minutes, I think, in the Royal Rumble. And I explain in my Royal Rumble match review video why I think that was just... Just why? Just why? I explain that in the Royal Rumble review video. So go check that out. It should be up now! should be up now. Um, it's like half an hour long, but it's good. It's good. Trust me. 125 out of 150, nearly there. There's another title match back, okay. So I've currently played three matches and only spent one title match. It's good going, considering I have 30 points. Uh, let's jump into another match. This could be the one where um, we get Big E. Because we were 25 points, we were on 100 points when we did the last match. And we got 25 in that time. So we could get another 25 in this time. If my team collectively gets 15 points during the time I finish this match, then we will have Roman... Uh, we will ha I keep saying Roman Reigns. We will have Big E. So, yes, hopefully that happens. Considering it seems like there's nine of us, if just three people... Two people get plus ten wins, then we're sorted. Um, so, let's see. Yeah, let's keep going. Get the points, get the points, get the points. Boom. Rock bottom. And people's elbow. There we go. This is Fox in and beats Eve with Eves. No, with these. It's with these. That was bad, bad. I'll be quiet now. Um, <laughs> but yeah, we have a few swaggers in, but the, the full thing that we're trying to go for is all left arrow event cards. We don't have many cards that aren't left arrow event cards. We do have a few, but I would say about. 80% of the Superstar deck is all left arrow event cards just because it works better than anything else. Um, it works for tag teams, it works for singles, it works for everything pretty much since there is such a combination like Undertaker is great for power toughness, Rock is great for power charisma, Jericho is great for speed charisma. So you're pretty much sorted with just Undertaker and Jericho really if you've just got those two in which is why I am using my Undertaker and Jericho. Because I've got the toughness, power sorted, and the speed boost my sorted. So that's my reasoning, but the it's good. If you just use left arrow event cards, it's worth it. If you've got some right arrow cards that could be uh, good for tag teams, it's not worth it. Because the majority of the time, even though you think, well, these are going to be great for tag team matches. The majority of the time, they're not going to be used in tag team matches. They're going to be stuck with solo matches. And if you use them, a right arrow... Survivor Pro, you are more than likely going to be matched up against an event card and you're going to lose like every time. Um, so it's worth just going all left arrows because they work as tag teams. And if you can't have left arrows, use up arrows, of course. And then and only then, you know, drop down to uh, to combinable cards. But I got the final points there to get Big E, so that's cool. And um, I'm getting the seven picks again. Give me another title match, you know you want to. No? Doesn't look like it. Nope. Okay. We will play two more matches. We're in a Kofi Kingston now. We get Big E and on the Kofi. Team Italy. Let's see how good Team Italy is. I'm guessing we will stomp through them as we will do for a long time. 
it's not a prediction, it's gonna happen, we're gonna stomp through this entire team. Um, so let's do that. Barely, good start there. Diva match. Boom, there we go. So Undertaker and Rock in there. It's not my Undertaker, I use the uncommon picture on my Undertaker. Um, there we go. Everyone switches up the Rock's pictures even though all of them look the same. The only picture I would switch from the uh, actual event Rock picture is the Season 1 PCC Rock picture. I thought that was... Th this one, yeah, this is the picture. That Rock picture, I really like that Rock picture. Uh, if I had it, I would use it, but I don't. This guy does, whoever this guy is on the team with that Rock. He has the picture, and it's a really good picture. I like it. Um, I wish I had it, but I don't. Shame. Shame. Anyway, we're still going in. There's a good tag team match between the two Swaggers. So that the Rocks. The Rocks. Multiple Rocks. And they will also get the win. Of course. Guaranteed. Uh, there's Combat Ball Tag Team. I think we have we have Bret Hart and Rusev who are in the deck. And that's because they don't have any other like cards, I think. I think we might have a Ziggler in there too. Um, but apart from that, the only reason they are in is because they don't have any other event cards to use. Which is fine, I guess. Um, but apart from that, everyone else is event cards. So... Let's clear up again. Keep going. Keep going strong. Boom, there we go. There we go. Even more. Even more, even more. There, that, that Undertaker card there, the uncommon one. That is the one I use on my Undertaker. There we go. There's another 10 and 0 win. I will do one more match before I end the, end in the episode because I know this is going to be a long episode. Just because I already did the, the part 1. And now I'm doing this part 2. So let's get these picks get the final match done. It would probably already be done by now if I didn't have to sort out the the card limit stuff at the start, but okay. 40 points through Kofi. There's no there's no plus 10 match. There we go. Best Sean team. Okay. Let's see about that best Sean team. It's probably not gonna be I don't even know what that means. What does that mean? <laughs> I don't know. The hero squad going to take him out, so starting off with Rusev. He's going to be hopeless by the time we get to face off for that Survivor Charlotte. Really is. Isaiah wins. And Rock wins. And the other Rock will win in a second. <laughs> this is just the easy, the easy part of the Team Road of Glory. It doesn't even get difficult at all until the end of the Legendary God. Literally as soon as you hit, like if you've got a team like mine, it doesn't get hard at all until you hit that survivor card. And then it becomes like, it goes from easy to impossible, like instantly. Like every single match you have, you've got maybe a 30% chance of winning. Um, that's just how it happens. I don't know why it happens, but it does. It seems like every single card gets the ability boost. Every single card is compatible or just wins for whatever reason. They're just slightly better than your cards. And yeah, it just becomes impossible instantly, and I don't get this. The shift, the shift is so instant. Um, but yeah, that, that, it's gonna happen again. I know it's gonna happen again because they wouldn't have fixed it. But yeah, as soon as we hit that Survivor Charlotte, it's gonna go from, you know, flawless victories to maybe even, well, to losing matches. It's gonna be that quick, and it's gonna happen. But anyway, for now, I'm just gonna. Uh, be happy in the fact that it's just gonna be win after win after win for quite a while and uh, That is very fine with me. So let's throw Bret Hart and Undertaker out there. They will get the win Obviously And the Rock and then we have another Rock. Was it Undertaker or the Rock? I think it was Undertaker maybe. Can't remember now. It was Undertaker. Yes, it was. And he gets the win over Mark Henry, of course, who lasted a solid less than one minute in the Rumble. And there we go, 13-0 and zero victory. And that is going to be the final match for this video. So we're 80 out of 240 points after 19 minutes of this event. That's pretty quick. Um, yeah. Terry Funk, great. And nothing else. There we go. So, that's going to be it for this video. Um, yeah, 80 out of 240, how's the team points breakdown already? 
Uh, I am top with 60, Sean on 35, Ratul 35, Henry 35, Reigns 20, Brian K 20, Wadwad 15, Rickster 15, Randy Barton 5, and I am Snow 0. So right now, I'm killing it. And yeah, that's how it's going to go. Who's talking here? Triple H is God. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, that's how we're going to end this episode. I'm going to continue playing this Team Road to Glory. We have one day, five hours, 39 minutes to get to the end. Will we do it? Almost guaranteed. We've got like a 99% chance of finishing it right now. That 1% chance is if the servers go offline and they just don't come up and they don't extend the time for whatever reason. But yeah, that is it. So hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like it up, subscribe down below if you haven't already. And other than that, I will see you all next time.